Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make these summertime inspired cartoon watermelons. These are really easy to draw and they look super, super cute. And they only take like five um, materials to do so. And I'm going to be show you, showing you how to do it in the next clip. So for this really easy drawing tutorial, you're going to need a pencil to trace out your drawing, um, a black Sharpie or a black marker to outline your drawing, and a light green marker, a dark green marker, a pink marker, and a red marker. You could also use colored pencils or crayons. I'm going to draw a half circle from one end of the sheet to another. Watch out if your table has any grooves or not. And then I'm going to connect this half circle almost all the way until the other end like this make sure your lines are even so you should get something like this and now with this rest of the space we're going to draw a bite mark and to do that I'm going to extend the line just a little bit and draw two or three circles, kind of like how you, if you were to draw a flower shape, and then connect that back to the other end of the circle, and you should get something that looks like this. Now we're going to draw the rind of the watermelon, and this is very easy also. You're going to start at one end of the watermelon right here, and you're just going to draw very loosely, does not have to be perfect, a, another half circle near the first half circle that we drew. So I'm just going to keep doing that all the way. And it's okay if you mess up a little bit. That's why we're using a pencil so you can erase. And then just draw the half circle all the way up until other end and this is going to basically represent our rind in a watermelon just like that so um, now we're going to draw the face details of the watermelon this is a really fun and cute part and you can get kind of creative with it if you want but I'm basically going to be drawing um, two eyes in the center of the watermelon and then we're gonna draw little eyelashes. So one, two, three, on each end, like that. And we wanna draw little pupils if we want. So I'm gonna draw a circle in here and a small circle in here, and then a big circle on top, and a little circle on top. And these are gonna be our pupils. And then to draw the mouth, we're going to draw a line and then we're going to start a oval shape at the middle of this line and then carry it over. So, start at the middle, carry it over to the one end. And you should have a little bit of extra line space right here. I'm going to erase that, make it a little bit more straight. And then we're going to draw a little tongue like that. Now you can see our little face coming on our watermelon. And to make it extra, extra cute, I'm going to do little watermelon seeds like freckles. So I'm gonna draw like three tear shaped, three tear shaped droplets on the sides of the watermelon. And they look like little tiny seeds, like watermelon seeds. And that is it for the drawing portion of the watermelon. 
So now I'm going to be taking the black Sharpie slash black marker and tracing wherever we drew um, any detail of the watermelon with the um, pencil. And I'm also going to be coloring in the mouth, not the tongue, but I'm also going to be coloring in the seed freckles and the inside of the eyes, but not the pupils. And I will show you that in the next clip. So this is what our watermelon should look like once we traced it with the Sharpie. And I made sure not to do the rind inside because when we color it, we're going to um, have the colors kind of transition from the greens to the reds. And you'll see that in a second. But now I'm going to add the colors using the markers. So I'm going to do the colors red inside for the watermelon. And then for the tongue, I'm going to be doing a pink color. And then I'm going to be also adding two little circles in the color pink on these two sides of the watermelon to look like blushing um, cheeks. And then I'm going to be doing dark green on the outside of the um, edge of this watermelon and then light green on the inside before we start red. So I know that sounds a little complicated, but I'm going to show you um, in the next clip um, what it should look like in the end. And this is what our final watermelon drawing will look like. You can get as creative as you want with it. You can make a blue watermelon. You can make the rind um, yellow if you wanted to. But I just use these four simple colors to make this watermelon. And you could cut it out or you could give it to someone. But I think it's perfect in time for the summertime season. Um, and that should be it. So thank you guys for watching.